Skywarp72 Cruisers Motorsports Gaming with some not so sneaky info on Forza Motorsports 7. But first, guys, nothing helps me out more in the world than you guys hitting that subscribe button, and that will give you the heads up for when I do more Horizon 3 stuff and more info on Forza Motorsports 7 as it comes down the pipes. And I'm just going to short that Forza Motorsports 7 to FM7 so this video isn't three hours long. The holidays have me lax on posting vids, so let's break that right now and talk about the scrap of info I've got on Forza Motorsport 7, or FM7, and what it means to us, the gamers. Leaked in a few different sites now is the confirmation of FM7. Not coming from Microsoft, or even Amazon this time, but... Fanatec? Phonetic wheel support? Forgive me if I get the name wrong, I don't have one, I don't use a wheel. I'm not a big fan, we'll get to that later, but forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, I'm just going to say phonetic wheel support. Uh, it's their site that was asking for more feedback from wheel users as FM7 will be more supportive for wheels than ever before, even including handbrake support. Yes, now you can practice impressing 17 year old girls with a well executed handbrake slide. Phonetic and Microsoft seem to be putting a ton of effort into ensuring wheel users have top-notch support and gaming experiences. So what does this mean for us Forza players? Well, it answers some questions right off the bat, but then creates a bunch more. If you're a PC wheel user, then it looks like you're in like Flynn for a great gaming experience. The biggest question though that it answers is whether or not Motorsport was going to go to a three-year cycle which as far as I know was never confirmed, but sat really heavy on the rumor mill just a few short months ago. Apparently, this won't be the case this time around, as what is most likely case, FM7 will be released to showcase the new Project Scorpio console due out next year. So a 2017 release, it is. This, however, raises questions about the content of FM7 because we all remember the last rush installment of the Motorsport series. And this was absolutely, hands down, the best Forza demo I've ever played. Also, and not to anyone's surprise, it will be multi-platform playable as the PC guys can now take a crack at it. That question is answered, but it raises new questions, as in quality of online gameplay. Horizon 3 was accessible by PC, but it took numerous patches to get it right, and a lot of frustrated gameplay by the console players in the meantime. Is this going to be a problem, or was Horizon 3 enough of a test bed that they're going to get it right from the get-go? Like one of the articles stated, developers going after the PC market could very well mean that FM7 could be more simulation focused, which in turn could mean that the PI and tuning could get a much needed overhaul. But being rushed for another console release, I'm not going to hold my breath. So, what we know so far, staying on a two year cycle, it's showcasing Project Scorpio console, will be PC accessible, and have heavy wheel support. And now I might have an idea this might actually be somebody at Forza listening to me. It would be great in a future confirmation video of stuff I'm, I'm confirming for the game, I could confirm a Chevy Beretta. Make it happen. And of course, as more info is available, I will be passing on my fellow Forza players. With FM7 on the horizon, no pun intended, let me ask you this. In your opinion, what has been the best motorsport game for you, the players? Leave your answers in the comments section below, because I love interacting with my viewers. As always, fellow gearheads, if you like what you see, give that like button the big old click, and then the big one, give that subscribe button a click too, and check out the rest of the videos on the channel, including my real racing videos from Daytona to Palm Beach. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the video.